In this video, we're going to be replacing the starter on a Freelander Cascadia. So the starter is right here. It's a little hard to see it, but once I get underneath, you'll be able to see it more. I recommend you guys to put a brand new one. I'm gonna be using this one um, since I know it's in good conditions. I took it off from a, uh, another Freelander I had. It's only like six months old. So you wanna start off by disconnecting your negatives on your batteries. So I don't have any power on the starter. So all the negatives, the main ones, this, I have three right here. This is one and this one and this other one. Just make sure you look for all the, the main ones or you can just disconnect all four of them. It's four negatives. Just make sure you don't hit the, the positives when you're taking them off. Just so you don't get any sparks. And once you remove the, the, the batteries, then I'm gonna start by removing the starter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by removing this wire right here where I have the socket. It takes an eight millimeter. This is your ignition wire. So this is the view from underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this plug right here. This one has a clip on top. Just push the clip up and pull the plug out. So that one is released. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this brackets right here where the wires are uh, hooked into the chassis. So I'm gonna remove these two, these two um, brackets. So to remove this bracket, it takes a 13 millimeter socket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this two, and then I'll keep going with the starter. So here I removed the two brackets already. The wires are loose just so I can have enough space to work. Now I'm gonna start removing the the negative cables right here on the starter. As you can see I already have the socket and it's gonna take a, a 19 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And then I'm, I just gotta remove one more on top. I'll just show you right now. So here I took off all the negatives. As you can see, the this bolt right here. I took off all the negatives. So all this one's right here. Just make sure you keep track of where they go. When you put it back, you want to put it in the same cables you took off. So I'm gonna continue to take off the positive ones. And to do that, I'm gonna do it from the top. So here I'm taking off the the top ones, the positive cables. So as you can see, I have some extensions and it also takes a 19 millimeter socket. Um, you will need a, a swivel on the bottom side. As you can see there, I have a swivel in order to get to that bolt. So let me take it off and I'll show you how, how it is. As you can see, you can see the swivel down there. Let me go ahead and take it off and then I'll show you. So here I went ahead and removed all the, the negatives. I have all the cables right here. So again on this one, just make sure you remember all the, the ones you took out. And also I removed this bracket right here just so I can have enough space to pull the, the wires out. So pretty much the starter, it's, it's um, I don't have any more cables to take off. So now I'm gonna start by removing it from the three bolts. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the three bolts. They go to the, to the chassis of the transmission and to the starter. And it takes a 18 millimeter socket. I'm going to be using the impact wrench just to get it out faster. 
So you have one here, one up there, and the other one on top. So let me go ahead and remove those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all three. So here I have the starter already loose. Uh, I'll show you right now. So in order to get to the last bolt, you have to go through here, through the, through the back of the block, and use a, like a long extension. And I, the way I did it is I put a extension all the way up to here, and then use the, the impact gun. As you can see, the holes, this, this two right here on top. So to get this one, it's pretty easy. But the one over here, this one right here, it's um, kind of hard to get it out. So right here, as you can see already, the starter is loose. As you can see, it started to come off. So let me go ahead and bring it down. And I'm gonna start to put in the new one. So here I have the starter. This is the one I took out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in this one now. So same thing, I'm gonna bring it up the, the same way I brought this one down. So let me go ahead and put this one on. So here I have the new starter. As you can see, I already put it up. I just gotta put in the, the, the bolts. I have two already. I just gotta put the one in the back and then start assembling all the, the plugs, wires. So let me go ahead and uh, put all the cables where they belong and all the, the brackets. Just, just the way you took them off. You just gotta put them right back how they were. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you. So I finished installing the new starter. You can see it's already in. I put all the wires back in. All the brackets. All the plugs, all the wires right there, the positives. All the bolts in the back. I already tried it and it turns on pretty good. So I'm gonna turn it on just so you can see. There it goes, it's on. So that's how you do a starter change. So thanks for watching.